hi hello welcome to this tutorial if you're not yet subscribe please subscribe put your comments on this comment box okay so now again we are going to go into the mesh so we are going to work on it so what I'm gonna do just first of all I'm just going to use a, a cube here I'm just going to reduce the size of it scale it okay and Y axis then going for this face I'm just going to go to edit mesh here I'm just going to use poke face here okay this is what I want if you want more to work on it just simple just go to uh, uh, you can do any shape uh, uh, as you see uh, at the end of the video okay you'll have some idea where you can just uh, do different shapes and you can just explore on it okay here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to uh, go for this vertices here okay and I'm going to use chamfer vertices where I get this one after right click and go for this face and control E let me move it here I'm just going to scale that one uh, towards this yeah this is what I need okay so it's kind of tawny kind of thing okay so here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to bring up uh, the uh, the box here I'm just going to scale it out okay after scaling that one uh, let me make this one smaller okay uh, scaling this one so select this one and go to uh, channel box here okay and open this one and uh, I'm just going to increase the segments just click and drag and increasing it okay this much is uh, this much will uh, will be okay for me okay so after creating this select this one okay the sharper one which we created we modified okay so selecting that one and go to FX and go to mesh and create a mesh network okay so if you create a mesh network you see that uh, this got created and I'm just going to attribute here okay so going to the distribute again the simple thing where I'm just going to go for the mesh here sorry mesh here okay so um, uh, windows outliner again I want the cube to be the me mesh so middle mouse click drag and drop here so you see that this get attached to it here what I'm gonna do just go to this method and change to face center I want that to be in face center and I'm going to go for flat mesh okay so this is what I have okay so now what I'm gonna do I'm just going to select the inner uh, um, in a box in a cube I'm just going to hide that one control H to hide it okay so this is what I have now what I'm gonna do check this out okay so go into the mesh here you'll have option called offset click on this and go for add node okay nothing got changed right here what I'm gonna do if I just rotate this one you see there is a rotation happening right so here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to create it 180 Wow that's great right so what happened something happened it's nothing but this got rotated that is the otherwise okay so it flipped simply saying it's flipped okay so that's can be done okay so with the help of this offset rotation okay so you can just go here if I just make it uh, zero I uh, let me show you uh, more things here where you can just offset it okay so totally you can offset it or Y axis or Z axis and also you can scale it you see this you can scale it any direction okay I'm coming back to this offset making it 180 and this will go around okay so now what is the thing is like I'm just going to create a fall off just go into fall up come down into the offset go into the fall off here right click and go for create you see nothing has happened if I press W and if I move this out see the amazing thing happening Wow that's great right yes that can be done that is the effectiveness of mesh see this one that's great okay so that can be done where I just select this one just go for new material right click and go for new material here just go to uh, Arnold just go for standard uh, surface and then click on this let me go for some other different color for this so I go with the green here that makes some sense where I can just animate this this uh, offset I'll let you know how to animate that before that what I'm gonna do here I'm going to use another node 
okay so just go to mesh here okay anyway you are in the mesh so coming down here you see that I have strength here add the strength okay so after adding you don't have to do anything here I'm just coming down to here and you'll find something called fall off okay so right click and go for create if I move this one you see it's getting hided wow that's great right yes now I'm just going to play with this too simple the strength is going to follow the offset okay first of all I'm just going to use the fall off okay if you get confused with what I'm selecting just I'm just opening this uh, outliner where you can see this first I'm just selecting the offset okay just going for first frame uh, I want the, this to be on 70th frame press S or else what do you do just click on this uh, go to your mesh okay where uh, I can just go to fall off here okay so on 70 just right click and set key here so only the translate just move it out just move it back here okay so right click and key so let me play this out just check this one yes that's great right fine let me go out there selecting this one okay this has to be in the same form right click and go for set key in the 70th frame okay because after this reach okay so after this uh, offset reaches here I want this to get wiped out okay so you s you make sure that I'm just selected the strength here you can see here the strength you can see so right click to translate on the 70th frame just set key it and I'm just going to go to the hundredth frame I'm just going to move it off Wow that's great so right click and translate now we see what's happening just go back play this one Wow that's great don't see this one okay so if you want something to get off from here itself after uh, connecting itself what you have to do is select this one okay so uh, shift press drag it bring it somewhere here where this will get animated from here itself check this out this is going to go like this okay so that can be done okay so it's a simple thing and you can just do lot of things with this okay so I'm just going to uh, hide those okay let me at last I'm just going to play this one take this off the the grid off now I'm going to play this one just see this one that's a thing right so I'm just playing this Wow okay where you can just uh, make sure that you can appear with the second one also let me go out there and I'm just going to put it here and I'm just going to uh, create a, a, a a box here right click go to the face select these phases deleting that one I'm just going to select this one extrude it sorry scale it bring it up here uh, I'm just going to go to the edge bring it here I'm just going to make it soft so go here make it smooth just go here make it smooth and right click and go for a uh, new material assigned so just go for Arnold and go for surface and make sure that this is also a surface and then what I'm gonna do just go for Arnold light a uh, sky dome I'm just uh, playing sky dome here let me see what's the output here I'm just going to go for Arnold and uh, going to start this uh, thing here so you can see uh, I can just zoom it out and also here I can zoom it out uh, here somewhere and I can just go inside zoom it a little bit in so that you can uh, view this here okay where I can just go select this one right click and go for the surface shader I'm just going to uh, change the color so that it appears a little bit uh, catchy okay so where I can just go for something like bluish yeah this is good so let me have this here okay so where I can just push this one up a little bit a little bit up 
closer to this so that I can see the uh, shadow also that will make some sense so I let me have this one out there you can see the output here uh, let me pause it and I'll come back so uh, this is what I just changed the frames a little bit uh, to the 64 and just took a frame okay I hope that this will uh, make some uh, a useful appearance okay fine uh, so if you like this video if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe if you are not it subscribe share the video thank you for watching